Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to camp. It is a beautiful day here. Forecast high is calling for 22 degrees. It's a little bit cool right now, but it's early in the morning. It's about 8.30. Um, it is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. I am here to close up the pop-up camper for the winter. It's kind of a sad day when that happens, but it's got to be done and prepped properly so in the spring it can be, you know, used again and nothing serious happens to it. So, you know, I'm just here for the day. I'm uh, going to winterize the pop-up and uh, give you guys a little shot down there of the the trees changing in the road. But going to be a beautiful day and... Uh, whoa. Going to be a beautiful day and uh, let's head down to camp and uh, get started. All right, guys, got the uh, pop-up open here. Just got the bunk ends pulled out. Um, just enough so I can go in and get everything out, like the batteries and the food and anything else I can freeze. So let's head inside and uh, get all that done. So there are no mice in the traps here, which is good. Those extra bounce sheets must have helped. Whoa, that almost took my finger off. I'm going to put the galley up here because I got to do the winterizing of the tap and everything and then uh, I'm going to open this up right now for the uh, get the batteries out of there first. So we're going to check the health of the batteries here before I take them out just see how they survive the cold in the insulated battery box and I got 12.77 uh, so um, they're good to go. They survived the cold nights in this insulated battery box so it's working pretty good. I'd like to leave it here all winter to see, but uh, I'd like to leave it all winter here to see if, you know, if it would uh, last, but uh, I'm scared to ruin the battery, so I'm going to take them out. All right, got everything out there. Uh, just going to leave the insulated uh, battery box there for the winter and uh, going to get some of this stuff out of here, flashlight, vacuum, bring that with me, so... Next is uh, head over and do the food. All right, just finished up with the food. So uh, now I'm just gonna go through everything, like open everything up, you know, get out the uh, the bug stuff, the sunscreen, whatever that might freeze uh, in here. Just go through all the drawers and everything. Uh, and then uh, make sure I leave the fridge open so it doesn't get smelly during the winter. And uh, lastly, it'll be the winterizing the pump the sink and then close up the camper and uh, clean the roof. So stay tuned. All right, guys, bear with me to, while I try to explain this. So this is the piece that I took off that's no good anymore. So it's a half inch uh, elbow here with two independent uh, with threads inside to hook to your sink and then hook to the drain, you see? 
but I couldn't get these independent to glue onto this uh, 90 degree elbow. So I have this with a male and a female. Uh, then this, you can buy this threaded part like this and put it in there like that. Then a little piece here and then another piece like this to go in here. So basically it's a little bit longer, but it should be okay. This is uh, what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna glue all this together and uh, we'll put it in and then get the plumbing antifreeze going. All right guys, we're inside here. Uh, this is the piece that goes under here that I came up with, glued it all together. And uh, now, time for some Teflon on the threads here and here. So we're gonna do, gonna do clockwise on this one because you have to put the teflon on the way you're tightening it that should be enough there and then on the Drain here will be going, it's upside down. So we will be going the opposite. Oh, sorry. We're gonna be going this way, loosening. And inside here comes with a little rubber. Put that on. Alright guys, it's the moment of truth. I got a little water here, I got the paper towel. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. I don't see anything, I think we're good to go. Alright guys, we're here at the pump. Uh, I forgot I had to uh, run the pump, uh, so I put another battery in just quickly, uh, just one battery in quickly to uh, run the pump. The, the plumbing antifreeze in so first get the filter off all right so i already drained the water out of the tank a couple of weeks ago just in case of, i didn't show that on a video because i just it was when i was leaving anyway um make sure your taps off uh gonna turn on the pump here i'm trying not to make too much of a mess So now the pump stopped. That means that the the line is completely charged. So now we come over to the uh, sink and turn on, and the pump will uh, bring up what it has in the line. Make sure I'm not leaking it. Not so that's good. So back at the pump here, keep pouring it in until the pump stops. Okay. 
Okay. And back over. And this should be enough. And you can see coming out of the drain. So that means uh, it, it went through the uh, uh, trap inside. Yes, yeah, so what I was talking about is outside. Um, you have your drain comes down and there's a trap down at the bottom here. Then it goes out, so you got to make sure that you get all the uh, here. Maybe the sun. No, there you go. Uh, you got to make sure you get some plumbing antifreeze in that. Get the because there's standing water in it. All right, so we're gonna fill it up again and uh, let it uh, prime and let it sit there all winter. All right, guys, I'm ready to close the camper down. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do is um, spray down all the fabric with this. I use it during the summer, but the more, uh, how do you say, perfumey you can get it, uh, for the winter, it's gonna keep the rodents away. Give it a good spray everywhere. There we go. I also have this little container of these are these uh, these uh, little uh, freshness bees you put in your washer. So I'm going to put this over here, <coughs> and also have a lot more bounce sheets to throw around. So I'm going to do that, and then uh, that'll be it. Close it down. All right, guys, there it is. Uh, the camper's all packed up, winterized, ready to go. Um, it was a great summer, nice weather. No major problems with the camper. Um, I finally got that drain fixed, thank God. And uh, next time, I'm just going to fix stuff right away. Anyway, uh, you see, I got a big mess over here to clean up. Um, all that's got to go in my car and go home and go organ and get organized. So uh, uh, last step, uh, going to have some lunch. And then last step is uh, cleaning the roof, so I'll bring you back for that. All right, guys, for the roof, uh, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I have the rubber roof cleaner here, uh, but I'm going to actually dump it into a pail and then put some hot water. Uh, usually I wet the roof and then spray it around. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see how black it is, how dirty it is. So I'll bring you back uh, while I'm in the process. I don't know if you guys can see me or you can see what I'm doing. The sun is so bright. So I got some hot water here and some of the soap. And I'm just gonna I already swept the roof off. Um, I forgot to bring a stiffer brush. I have this small thing that's just gonna take me forever. Yeah, I'll do my best with this. Seems to be working pretty good. So I'll bring you back, guys back when I'm done. All right, guys, I uh, got the roof done. Uh, it's just drying. Uh, I'm also filling up the jug again. Clean off, because uh, it all runs down in the front and the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's all dirty there. So I'm going to uh, rinse all that off, get all that cleaned up, and that'll be it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Got the camper closed up. Uh, happy with everything, and uh, it's time to uh, go up by the pond.
Anyway, guys, uh, it's uh, 1 30. It's uh, about 22 degrees, beautiful fall day, but tomorrow's going to rain. Saturday's only going to be in the single digits, so it's going to change pretty quick. Uh, did I say it was 1 30? Anyway, it's 1 30. Uh, I'm almost finishing up here. I got to get out of here soon. Uh, but you know what they say, it's five o'clock somewhere. So today I got a Miller Genuine Draft. Good stuff. 4.7% uh, alcohol. Let's see here. No additives. Blah, blah, blah. Milwaukee Brewing Company. My koozies are in the uh, camper, so... Uh, Cheers, guys, on a nice fall day. It's infested with ladybugs. They come out this time of year when it's hot like this, and they bite, too. I didn't know that, but they're actually biting me, so. Anyway, the pond is full of water. Uh, it's just dripping, so it's probably a blockage, but uh, it's been running really good this year, and uh, it ran really well this summer, so. Uh, so... I know it's fall and uh, the summer's over, but I consider this the last beer of the summer. Uh, so uh, if you're new to the channel, um, the pop-up camper is closed up for the winter, but I'll be heading into uh, the camp. Uh, it's not much, just a small little place with, with a stove, wood stove. Uh, I got a couch to sleep on, but I still come in here in the winter and, uh, and uh, you know, waste my time. But anyway. So guys, I'm going to finish this beer and then uh, finish packing up and then uh, take on off out of here. All right, guys, the pop-up camper is clean and ready for the winter. Um, it is late afternoon, so I got to get out of here soon. I got to go pick up my son. Um, I don't cover it for the winter or anything. I find that uh, would trap moisture, humidity in there. This thing's been sitting here for six years, and it's perfectly fine without being covered. Uh, the rubber roof cleaner and conditioner definitely helps. This thing is facing south and uh, gets a lot of sun even in the winter and the uh, rubber roof is in great condition so use the right products and uh, you know do the right cleanings and you're gonna you're gonna be fine with it so um, I could stay in it uh, maybe a couple more weekends but when it gets below zero you get a lot of condensation inside so I just pack it up on uh, Thanksgiving weekend and then uh, we'll do some winter camping in the camp or maybe something else I had a tent last year but the snow completely destroyed it. So anyway, we'll do some more camping around here for sure, uh, even if it's uh, cold. So um, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.